BFTB. Best fight the best. So, Andy Ruiz comes out on his, uh, <laughs> his five heartbeat impersonation with Anthony Joshua. You know, because apparently Eddie Hearn thinks that the fight's going to be in the UK. Apparently. Well, Andy Ruiz is saying no UK. It's going to be in the US or Mexico. Either one. The US or Mexico. It's not happening in the UK. Then you got a whole bunch of motherfuckers coming out saying uh, oh well Andy Ruiz must not read any contracts. He must not read any contracts. The audacity the audacity of these punk pussy fucking UK motherfuckers and these AJ dick riders. The audacity to talk about somebody not reading something. Somebody not reading something. The audacity. Well, it's very clear that everybody on Team Heyman, everybody with the PBC, does read their contracts. It's very clear. It's very clear. They do read um, rules and regulations. They do. They read contracts. They read rules. Because if they didn't read contracts, then uh, Deontay Wilder would be signed to PBC right now with a two-fight deal um, left on a contract to fight Anthony Joshua for no belts. For his belt. And his belt only. Because Anthony Joshua don't fucking have no belts. But Deontay Wilder would be contractually locked in. He'd be contractually locked in to fight Anthony Joshua for his belt and not all the belts. He'd be locked in. Locked in without even knowing if Anthony Joshua was even going to fight him. He's just locked in. Sort of like Bum Lofkin is. How Bum Lofkin is locked into a DAZN contract. You know, no, go, he, he went to DAZN trying to get a Canelo fight. And Canelo told him to eat a dick. Go get a belt. Go get a belt. And then I'll fight you. If you don't got no belt, I don't give a fuck what numbers you got from his own. You ain't getting shit with me. Go go get a belt. And I don't hear anybody saying nothing. So it's clear that everybody on Team Heyman, everybody with the PBC, reads the rules and reads contracts. Very clear. Unlike the people on Matchroom. Unlike them. Who you have a pussy ass... Dillian Lichen Burnt Shrek White crying like a bitch about, oh, it's been 600 days. It's been 600 days since I got a title shot with the, with the WBC. It's been 600 days. Without ever reading the rules to realize as the WBC silver champion, because this pussy ass nigga is not a mandatory. You are the silver champion. So as the WBC silver champion, you must fight a final eliminator to, before you become the mandatory. But since you don't read, you don't read shit, I'm guessing you wouldn't know that. I'm guessing you wouldn't know that. And since Anthony Joshua does not read any of his contracts because Eddie Hearn does that shit, and they were probably so sure that they were just going to blow Andy Ruiz out of the water, all they put in there was a rematch clause. That's it. We get a rematch. Guaranteed they didn't put shit about the location. Guaranteed. Not a damn thing. They probably didn't put nothing about the location. Or else Eddie Hearn would be saying, oh, we'd like to do it in the UK. We prefer to do it in the UK. He wouldn't be saying none of that shit. He'd be saying it will be in the UK because it's written in a contract. You know, like he was so eager to flash um, his negotiation terms and the offers to Luis Ortiz. Well, we'll tell him to flash, um, flash a, a snippet from the contract that says that that fight, the rematch, will be in the UK. Go do that. Do that. I bet you he won't. 
I bet you we won't. Because if there if the if it was written in the contract that the a rematch is in the UK and not that it was just a rematch. Just a rematch. Anthony Joshua gets a rematch if he loses. Probably terms like that. But if it was written in the contract that the rematch will be in the UK if Anthony Joshua uses, then Andy Ruiz wouldn't be speaking how he's speaking. Knowing good and damn well that Al Heyman and his team of lawyers who have done four half a billion dollar deals. There is no way in hell that they are not going to read that fucking contract with a fine tooth comb and know everything about that motherfucker before Andrew Wee signed it. No way in hell. There's no way in hell that Al Heyman as an advisor isn't going to advise Andy Ruiz that there's a rematch clause in the contract but if you beat him then the rematch doesn't have the rematch is on you where you want it to be and Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua are so fucking stupid and pompous you know what I'm saying sitting on their fucking high horse with their silver spoons in their mouth they're so stupid and pompous that they just probably believe oh well you know we are um, the bigger star our, our commercial value is so big, so we'll just tell Andy Ruiz this fight's going to be in the UK, and then that's just that. So Andy Ruiz says, "Fuck you, nigga. I'm the A side." He gets on. He gets on his five heartbeats. He's like, "You think I don't see what you're doing? You think I don't see what you're doing, Eddie Hearn? Huh? You think you think I don't see Al Heyman done pulled my coattails to you a long time ago?" <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, and you and you, AJ, and you trying to steal my style, trying to tell me where to go, where to fight, even trying to riff like me. Well, guess what? You ain't gonna get it in the UK, cause you ain't got it. <laughs> and Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz told this small fucking, look here, buddy. Look here, pal. How you doing? <laughs> Gave that nigga the thumbs up. Says, see you in New York, Mexico, the Staples Center, or Vegas. I'll see it. I'll see it in one of those. You don't run shit. Nothing. Your A side status is gone, homie. Gone. Guarantee you, I guarantee you, pussy ass niggas, in the next contract you ever have with anybody, you will write in that contract that the rematch will be in the UK. You know, when you're a bigger star than like a fucking Adam Kalnaki or, or Jarrell Miller or something like that, and you're like, oh, well, well, if I lose, the rematch is going to be in the UK. I guarantee you, you'll write that in the contract. Guarantee. Guarantee. Andy Ruiz just told your hoe ass where the fight's gonna be because he's the A-side and you don't run shit. You got what you want, which is a rematch. Written in the contract. You will get your rematch. But where it will be at is a whole different story. You don't run shit. You fucking dumbass. Sitting on your high horse, all pompous. All pompous with your little punk ass silver spoon hanging out your fucking mouth all pompous like you're just so great so yeah if, the fight, if I do lose there's a rematch for me only but if you lose no rematch but if I lose there's a rematch you know the same weak ass shit that you do for everybody else but no problem no problem Andy Ruiz whipped that ass and now you can get your rematch but it'll be in the United States your rematch will be in the US or Mexico you're a world champion. Well, you were a world champion, right? Right, Anthony Joshua? You were a world champion. Now, now I know I remember this. I remember Anthony Joshua and all of his motherfucking pussy-ass pup-pup fans saying, Oh, well, uh, you know, he's got to defend his title outside of the U.S. I mean, outside of a... a De Deontay Wilder needs to defend his title outside of the U.S. Anthony Joshua is doing it. You're not a real world champion until you defend your title outside of the U.S. 
And Anthony Joshua is doing that. Deontay Wilder hasn't done that. So he's not a real champion. He has not even fought outside of the U.S. And then you say Aldi Harrison. And then they're like, well, well, yeah. Well, yeah, but, but yeah, he fought Aldi Harrison. But he didn't defend his title. Since he was a champion. Since he was a champion, he has not defended his title outside of the U.S. Since he was a champion. You know, he's got he's to defend outside of the U.S. Okay, well, guess what? Mexico is outside of the U.S. Andy Ruiz is doing what you punk pussy motherfuckers claim that Deontay Wilder wouldn't do. He wouldn't fight outside of the U.S. Okay. I mean, Deontay Wilder has fought in Mexico as well, but no problem. No problem. Since he was a champion is what you want to claim. All right. Well, Andy Ruiz is saying, no problem. I will fight you in Mexico. But you don't run shit. You cried, you cried and you sl slid in a rematch for yourself. No problem. It is there. You got a rematch. But it will be in the U.S. or Mexico. Guess you should have read your contract. <laughs> I guess you should have read what you had Eddie Hearn sign for you. I guess you should have read that. I guess you should have read it. And just like I said, if these motherfuckers, if these motherfuckers were so, if they were so sure, right? If they were so sure, uh, if they weren't so sure, I'm sorry. If they weren't so sure that Anthony Joshua just blows this dude out of the water, then they would have did what they tried to do for Deontay Wilder. They would have did that. But they didn't. In their mind, Anthony Joshua was just gonna blow Andy Ruiz out of the water. He was just gonna go there and go there and just wash him and just blow him out. That was in their mind. So since that was in their mind, and it was in a general consensus, the general population, other than two people, my brother X and Roughhouse, the general population was saying that Andy Ruiz was going to get blew out except for X and Roughhouse. Both X and Roughhouse were both picking Andy Ruiz and they bet uh, AD, Ruff bet him 200, I mean 500, and AD bet him 200, and then, and, I mean, uh, and then, uh, no, Ruff bet him 500, and X bet AD 200, and AD has, has reneged like a mother. Disappeared. That's why he won't show up on my channel. That's why he won't show up. Because he knows he owes them money. Dude's a fraud, man. Dude's a fucking fraud. An absolute fucking fraud. Came on talking big boy shit all over and over and over again. Just big boy shit constantly. Talking big boy tough this and big boy tough that. And Anthony, Anthony Joshua do this and Joshua do that. Blah, blah, blah. And yada, yada, yada. And when Rough House and X said that Andy Ruiz, that Andrew Ruiz beats Joshua, they laughed. Oh, oh, what? Oh, I'll bet $500 on that. I'll, I'll, bet, I'll bet money on that. Mm. Yep. Y'all motherfuckers ain't shit. You ain't shit. Noth none of y'all motherfuckers. You ain't shit. Cry like a bunch of bitches. Oh, uh, well, Joshua deserves this. Joshua's got gold medal. Joshua's got thick thighs. He deserves this. But now, Andy Ruiz, who read his contract and knows good and damn well that a rematch was going to happen. But the location was on him. They didn't put in there the UK for a rematch. But you got these pussy ass Joshua fans, these dick riding cheerleading niggas talking about, oh, well, we all know then, fam. We all know, fam. We all know it's going to be in the UK then. If there's a rematch, we all know it's going to be in the UK. We all know that, fam. Because Eddie Hearn is the greatest. He's so great. Right, this pompous bitch ass nigga, this pompous motherfucker didn't write in that the UK for the rematch, didn't write in or else he wouldn't be saying it'd be nice. Oh, it'd be nice. You know, we're, we're thinking, you know, we're thinking about having a fight back in the UK. You wouldn't be thinking nothing if it was in a contract. If it was in the contract, you would be saying Okay, well, apparently Andrew Ruiz didn't read the contract because in the contract, the rematch is in the UK. Andy Joshua wouldn't be saying, oh, well, you know, 
I think I'd like to go back to the to the U.S. and right the wrong there. He wouldn't be saying that. Wouldn't be saying it at all. He'd be like, the contract says the U.K. for the rematch. The contract says this. But since the contract don't say this, Andy Ruiz, a.k.a. the A-side, is saying, fuck you, New York, Vegas, Mexico, or Cali. There's your options. Clown-ass niggas. Try reading. It's fundamental. You pussy-ass niggas don't read rules or else you know this hoe-ass nigga Dillian White needs to fight a final eliminator. You pussies clearly don't read contracts. Clearly. Because Anthony Joshua wasn't in the $100 million contract that The Zone was offering, just like Canelo wasn't in the $100 million contract that they gave to Golovkin. Dumbass niggas. Stupid motherfuckers. Oh, come on, fam. Come on, everybody knows. Everybody knows The Zone offered that bread to Golovkin, uh, knowing he gonna get the Canelo shot. Oh, yeah? Then if he's in the contract, how can Canelo say, fuck you, I'm not fighting you? Get a belt first. How can Canelo say that? If it's he, if he is if it's written in the contract that he is obligated to fight somebody, how can he not do? Oh, but well, well, they'll just put pressure on him. The zone's gonna put pressure on him. So, pressure is not written in the comp in the contract. Pressure is not an obligation. You can put pressure all you want. What the what's the zone gonna do? Oh well, well, yeah, we already paid you three hundred sixty-five million dollars. We already gave you that bread. Uh, but. Um, we're not going to give you no extra money. So, so, my contract that for Canelo Alvarez says 365. I know what's in my contract. Dumb motherfucker. Your contract says we'll put pressure on Canelo to fight you. That's what your contract says. My contract says I am guaranteed 365. Your contract says we'll put pressure. We're going to press for. We're going to hope for. We're going to talk to. You ain't guaranteed shit. Dumb motherfuckers. Come on, fam. Come on, baby. Everybody knows. Come on, baby. Everybody knows uh, uh, Golovkin is chasing Canelo. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. Everybody knows this. And, and Golovkin... Needs to go to the zone to get to Canelo. Everybody knows this. Come on, bruv. Come on, fam. Everybody knows there is no one out there for Deontay Wilder to fight that can make him a hundred million dollars. There's no one out there. Come on. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Well, Golovkin signed a hundred million dollar fight and then fought Rolls. So that what you're telling me is Rolls is a hundred million dollar fighter. Rolls is a twenty million dollar fighter. Is that what you're telling me? Rolls is a twenty million dollar fighter. Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me? Is Rolls a fifteen million dollar fighter? So Golovkin signed a contract that he read and fought roles for 15 million, 20 million. But, but, uh, Deontay Wilder didn't read the contract because Joshua was in it. Joshua was in it, so Deontay Wilder didn't read it. Joshua was guaranteed in that contract. So the zone is guaranteeing big fights in those contracts. But yet Canelo says, fuck you, go get a belt. How does that sound like a guarantee? Andy Ruiz told this whole ass nigga where the fight will be because he is the A-side. And Joshua don't run shit. Just so you know. His dumb ass should have read his contract. Just like Dillian Ho ass white. Because uh Team Al Heyman, they actually read their contracts. They read them. <laughs> and that's the reason why Golovkin didn't sign to Team Al Heyman, because Golovkin read his contract. And it said, You're guaranteed 
a Charlo fight. <laughs> and when it said you're guaranteed a Charlo fight and Golovkin don't want no Charlo smoke, he's like, okay, I'll go over here where the, where the thought process is. They're going to put pressure on Canelo to fight me. Because I don't want that Charlo smoke. I don't want to be guaranteed a fight with Charlo. Although he would have been the WBC mandatory. And now the WBC champion. Sad. BFTB. Shout out to the LDBC. And I'm gone.